Hi guys, this is WJ Cut 6 and this is the I think this is the fifth of the last part of um preparing for an anime convention, specifically Knockacon. And I cannot stress this enough. I didn't change the contrast, hold on. There we go. Looks more HD away. Okay. Right, I'm watching the girl with the dragon tattoo, but anyways. And I can't stress this enough. I'm gonna be talking about con stalking. You creep. No, but seriously, I'm gonna be very serious about this. I'm not gonna joke around with this. Okay. I'm not gonna say I'm a pickup artist and I know how to get girls. But when it comes to anime convention, I'm better at it than getting normal girls. Anyways. Here's the thing. Now, this is for the guys who want to know how to approach a girl at an anime convention and not make themselves look like a creep. <laughs> Follow my um f five my, my five step program. I'm gonna call it a five step. Okay, number one. Now, this is where you want to go get a picture of a girl. You see a beautiful, sexy girl in a sexy cosplay. You know, stuff such as like Tifa's, Harley Quinn's from the Arkham City games, um, sexy versions of Ezo from Assassin's Creed, whatever it is, you know, Dark Magician Girl, you know, that stuff. Here's the thing. It's okay to think they're attractive. I, I, I know there's plenty of hot sexy girls at the con, but here's the thing. If you want to go get their picture, these are one, one things you don't do. You don't like, hey, get over here. I want to marry you. And I see this a lot. Or, wow, you look sexy in that cosplay. I can't wait to take you home and do some stuff to you. Here's the thing. That's going to freak him out and run off. If you really want to get a girl to take a picture, just be cool like this. You go up to him and like, hey, can I get a picture of your cosplay? In a normal tone, you know. And don't use so much energy. It's like, if she says no, deal with it. Just walk away and get someone else. They might have got a creepy vibe from you, or they just don't like the way you look, or they hate the character, whatever. I don't care. But, you know, um, don't get all creepy, creepy and stalkish. If you do that, you're a creep. You just put yourself in the creep zone. Just go up to and say, hey, can I get a picture of you? And if they say no, yes. But if they say yes, you might want to post. If, if you want to get into it, you can't just do this or whatever. I don't care. Just you know, stand next to her, smile, or do your character's poses. You know. But you know, just you know, just get a picture of them. And if you want to hug, just say, "Can I love?" And if they say no, do not harass them about it. Leave them alone about it. They're probably not the Shikili, or they just don't want guys, sweaty, horny guys touching them. But just, you know, don't creep them out. Don't put yourself in the creep zone by, by getting too energetic and having a smile like this. That creeps them out, dude. Please don't run women, women off. Okay? Step two, not to creep women off. Icon. Yeah, step two not to creep women out. <sighs> if you and this is for guys who want to get the numbers. If you want to get a number of a girl, that's cool. But just be discreet, you know. You can ask them once, and if they don't give you a number, move on to the next girl. Don't bomb them around and orbit them. Now people get on people who are costly as a character from someone else's same series. Okay, I don't say that's bad because you're going to want to hang out with people from the same series you are. And get pictures and be part of a huge group. It feels good, trust me. But other than that, don't orbit around. I'm talking, this is for guys who want to go get a girlfriend at anime conventions. Don't orbit around them. Don't follow them. You know, until you get their number. If they say no, move on to the next girls. And, and, uh, and number three, flirt with other girls, not just one girl. Not just one girl, because then she'll think, oh, this guy's weird. He's persistent. Go with, go find some other girls to talk to, or you know, talk to other girls too, you know. 
they'll just stick to one because if you stick to one they'll think you're a creep if you want to put yourself in the creep zone that's fine with me but i'm just saying you don't want to be in the creep zone so yeah Like you don't want to talk to you, or if you see a boyfriend with him, just step back. You just scream. You step back. Number five. Number number four. I think it's number four. Or five, I don't know. I'm, I can't stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough. Should I bring it up? I don't have any time to deal. Do not, um, yeah, I mean, do not, I think it's number five, like I said, with the orbit, don't do that, two, I mean, no, I mean, this is part two of five, don't say, don't, don't, don't confess your love to them until you get to know them, if they let you hang out with them for a while, get to know them first, don't confess your love at a con, I know it's, you know, you'll find some geeky women, and I'm pretending to the guys who sit in their base and play World of Warcraft and never seen a woman in weed for a, for a while, but don't ask him out unless you really know the person. If you know the person, like, for two years, and you see him on the daily basis, and they go to that con, okay, go ahead. Don't go there trying to go search for a woman. That will make you, that will turn you to a creep. Now I said, no. Okay, we already got the five step B. No following. No perverting comments on their cosplay. No, mm, don't use too much energy. And if you ask for a phone, she says no. Don't follow her until she gives you a phone number. Yeah. Just move on to the next person. But here's the thing please do not creep at a con. It's very serious that you don't do that. Thank you, and join not the RGS 13.